So this is the second video in our Puppeteer series. If you haven't seen the first where we learn how to take a screenshot, go ahead and watch that now. But next up, we'll be looking at how we can make a PDF from a particular page. You may have seen that when you go to print a particular page inside of Google Chrome, that you can actually save this as a PDF. I do this quite often when I don't have access to a printer, but I do actually want to save the file to print it later on. So we save it as a PDF to be printed when I have access. In this video, we're going to do exactly that. Puppeteer allows us to have a headless version of Chrome, as we already discussed, and we're going to make a new function called create PDF. And this is going to be using async and await. If you haven't seen async and await before, check out my async and await videos where we look at that in more detail. So once again, we are going to create a browser and this is going to be something we do quite often with Puppeteer because that's the whole point. We are simply making a new browser instance, which then gives us access to Chrome. We will then be making a new page. So we'll await on a browser dot new page. This page here has a variety of different accesses, so we can do everything from bring to front uh, cookies. So we can use things like go back, go forward, but we want to use go to. And we want to go to a particular URL. So the URL will be any URL of your choice. In my instance, I'm going to use my website. And because this is a promise, we are going to use await. We're going to firstly pass no options to go to. But if we look here, we have this partial. And this allows us to give either a timeout or a wait until. So if we want to make a PDF, we potentially don't want to make a PDF the second that we navigate to the site because there may be elements that haven't loaded at this point. So instead, we want to use wait until to select a particular event. If we look at the load event, we have access to either load and that's the default. So that's when the load event is fired. Alternatively, we can use the DOM content loaded. This is when the DOM content loaded event is fired once again. Or we can use network idle zero or network idle two. What this means is that the navigation is considered to be finished when there are no more than either zero or two network connections. And that's considered to be within at least 500 milliseconds. So we'll be using network idle two. So let's pass a new object, which uses wait until, and we'll use the network idle too. So next up, we need to make a PDF of the page, and that can be done by using await page dot PDF. So quite simple. And at this point, we want to provide a path. So we need to look at what these PDF options are. So let's dive in. And as you can see, we have an interface here, which is the PDF options. We have access to things like a path, which is the path to save the PDF to. Of course, once again, if we don't provide a path, it won't be saved to disk at all. So we do need to provide a path here, even though it is optional, if that's something that we want to do. Next up, we have things like the scale of the web page. Do we want to keep this at one? I think so at this point. Same goes for the header and footer. Do we want to display these inside of our PDF? We can also add a header template if we want. Same goes for a footer template. And we continue to look at various other options such as printing the background graphics, the paper orientation, and much more. I think we'll keep things mostly to the defaults at this point, but we do need to provide a path. So we'll make a new options object. You can pass it directly into the method if you want. And we'll set the path equal to PDF slash web.pdf, this would be the website.pdf. So it will go to a PDF directory. Another thing you might want to do, which we didn't investigate just then is give this a format. As you can see for a PDF format, we can select everything from a letter to ledgers to particular A0 to A5 standards. And I think we'll set ours to A4. So let's set the format to be A4. And we'll pass in the options to the PDF function. We'll now at this point, close the browser and remove it from memory because we no longer need this browser. We've created our PDF and we should be happy to see it inside of that directory. 
let's call our function. I'm going to pretend that you maybe have this as part of a library that you're creating on your end. And if we run node, and at this point we run node app.js because that's the name of our file, it should go ahead, navigate to that page. It should then take a PDF of that page in an A4 format. It should save that in the path of PDF with the file name of web.pdf and finally close out the browser. If we now run node app.js, it should firstly create a new browser instance, navigate to that page, then it will create a PDF with the options that we set. So the path of PDF slash web dot PDF, that's the file name here. And of course, then we have the format of A4. Do make sure that you have created that PDF directory before going ahead and running this as it likely will not work. So if we clear this and we CD into PDF and we look at the files, we have web.pdf, which we can then open. So that's how we create a PDF inside of Puppeteer. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more content. Let me know what you think inside of the comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Oh, this new crazy mother...